hello. Last week I turned 29, another year older, maybe another year wiser. My dear friend Sarah made a lovely video about the narratives that we create about ourselves and how vlogging is a particular kind of active creation of that narrative, choosing who to be and what to present. I've been kicking her insightful words around in my head a lot these past few days. Now seems like a particularly relevant time to be thinking about the narratives that I'm telling myself. I've been trying to be more deliberate in 2017 and in this final year of my 20s about my choices and my time, and now I think my stories as well. I keep a daily journal of sorts. It's mostly a stream of consciousness brain dump thing, so it frequently results in nonsense, but it's a vital mental health tool for me. And the other day I was like pep talking myself into doing the thing because sometimes I need pep talks to do even the most basic shit. Uh, but anyway, I'm, you know, hyping myself up and I decided that on this particular day I was going to be a force to be reckoned with. I don't know why I chose this particular phrase, it just sort of came out, but it occurred to me that in all the many personal narratives that I've told to others and to myself, I don't think that that phrase has ever been included. It is a phrase that I have often used to describe my mother, but never myself. And so I started sitting with the phrase, feeling it out, trying to think of examples of it being true, times where I felt particularly brave or strong. I even called my mom, because, you know, that's what I do, call my mom. I've never given much thought to the idea of giving myself birthday presents, but it just started to feel like this was indeed a very good present for me to give myself. I would include this in my narrative. Trying to name things was just frustratingly difficult. It's a thing that I've kind of been working on ever since, uh, but it's just really easy to diminish our own accomplishments. And even the examples that my mom gave weren't really times that I felt particularly brave or strong. I remember feeling scared or like, maybe I didn't even realize that there was something that I should be scared of until later, or like I got a lot of help. But then of course, most of the things in my life that I'm proudest of are things that I was probably at least a little kind of terrified of beforehand, but I did it anyway. And of course it's also good and important to recognize all the help that I have received in my life because it's a lot. I have received a lot of help, but in harder times, times when I feel especially small and worthless, which if I'm being honest, has kind of been a thing lately for all sorts of reasons. It's necessary to be able to find that light within myself to be able to know that I have gotten through other things and thus can get through new things. It's not always going to be possible, of course, but to whatever degree I am able, I want to make sure that I am training myself, I guess, to be able to find it for my own damn self. I would like to have, with at least some degree of consistency or reliability, the self-possession to know my own worth without external validation, to be able to say, yes, I am a force to be reckoned with. I have been finding ways to be my own damn hero for nearly three decades now, and I've earned the self-respect that goes with that. On the one hand, this feels very basic. Self-respect, we should all have it. Great. In practice, though, I am not finding it quite that easy and I'm definitely not there yet, but it is a thing that I want to be working towards. My birthday present to myself. But also, sometimes, I just gotta give myself the space to call my mom because that's okay too. Okay, bye.